First alert weather. So, ooh, there's a lot of yellow <laughs> behind you. Mm -hmm. It's not a okay. good sign, is it? <laughs> not necessarily. You know, we want the rain. Storms aren't a bad thing. We don't want the severe weather, though. And uh, next several hours, we will be watching for a potential storm development. In fact, the Storm Prediction Center, 60% chance, they say, of seeing a severe thunderstorm watch uh, being issued shortly for parts of our area, especially this area you see in yellow, which includes parts of the metro, especially if you live close to I-70 and areas northward for the next several hours. So we'll be watching for that. Of course, if we get a severe thunderstorm watch, we will let you know. But this evening, if those storms can develop, and that's an if they can develop, they have certainly lots of moisture, a lot of heat out there. So those storms will have the potential of producing some damaging wind gusts. Also, we could see some large hail as well. So we'll be watching for that as we go through the evening hours. Now, right now, we're dry. There aren't any thunderstorms out there locally. Hazy sunshine. Look at the temperature, 94 degrees. Now look at the heat index, 104. That's what it feels like. So today was an impact day because of the heat and humidity, but also that storm threat that we're going to be monitoring as we head into the evening hours. Temperatures around the metro and really kind of depends on where you live. Now we're up to 101. That's the current temperature for Overland Park and Grandview, 98 in Lee Summit. Same for Olathe, 96 degrees in Smithville. 100 in Clinton, 101 for Lacine, Garnett, 100 degrees for you, Ottawa, 102. Factor in that humidity, and just like we saw yesterday, some of the highest heat index levels in the country and in the globe. 109 for Lawrence, 109, that's what it feels like in Ottawa. Even Lee Summit, 106, 104 for Kansas City and Olathe, feels like 108 for Sedalia. Good news, this will be the last day that we have to deal with numbers like that for a while. Now here's clouds and radar again quiet for right now, but we're going to be watching for those storms to develop kind of where you see those cumulus clouds with little white puffs going up near Atchison, St. Joe and Cameron. We will be watching for storms to fire in those locations. I'd say between now and about seven o'clock this evening. Weather impact for the rest of your evening hours. Chances of thunderstorms potentially becoming severe. 90s next couple of hours, 80s at uh, 8 o'clock, 87 degrees, lower 80s and upper 70s by late this evening. Now let's go through that storm timeline on future scan. You see it right here. Here's 9 p.m. Scattered storms, some of these potentially severe. As we get into the overnight hours, that severe weather threat goes down, but there still might be some lingering showers and storms into our morning hours tomorrow. Then we kind of get a lull here late morning into the early afternoon. That's a look at midday before more scattered thunderstorms fire up for your Saturday afternoon hours into the evening. But I think the severe weather threat then lower. So tomorrow weather impact in the morning for scattered showers. There's that lull or just a slight chance of rain. Scattered storms refiring in the afternoon. I think low to mid 80s. That'll do it for our highs tomorrow, so quite a bit cooler. Sunny and 86 on Sunday, 91 on Monday, 4th of July, 94 degrees, hot and humid. Storm chances Wednesday and Thursday of next week and cooler with highs in the low 80s.